read the script and was laughing so hard and I'd never quite read anything like it. It is an action movie, but it's also um, really about the relationships and, and kind of moving and sweet as well and hilarious. So I was really excited and I'm obsessed with Kumail Nanjiani, so it was win, win, win. Seeing Kumail's character, Stu, kind of get caught up in the center of all this craziness uh, is really interesting and funny. And while Kumail is so hilarious, he's also a really good actor. So it's about a real guy. Kind of, It's sort of um, a window into what would happen if you or I got caught up in an action movie um, and sort of offering a sort of realistic, grounded, ridiculous uh, point of view of an action movie. I think his comedy is so smart and he's so good at just cracking open his brain and letting you look inside and he's the kind of person where even if you've never met anyone who thinks like him you sort of immediately know exactly who he is and feel uh, like a friend and like he's treating you like a friend as an audience member. Becca is uh, a longtime friend of Stu from college. Uh, they're best friends, and I think probably the kind of friendship where they have a billion inside jokes and know each other way too well. Um, <clears throat> and when we meet them, they are about to open a business together, a spin studio together. And Becca has no idea that Stu has romantic feelings for her. He's an amazing director, uh, and we had a long phone call about who Becca was and uh, what traps we didn't want to fall into, um, which uh, is a call I've never received from a male director, and I was very happy to receive it. Uh, he's very, he's very woke. <laughs>